Welcome to Mahler Mondays, episode 5. This is the Lake Geneva Symphony Orchestra exploration into Mahler's fourth symphony. Today we are looking at movement 2, and here is the Vienna Philharmonic conducted by Leonard Bernstein. Did you notice the importance of the solo violin in that clip? And not just any solo violin, but one that has been tuned in a different way. There are four strings on a violin, and when they tune, they'll tune the A, then they'll tune the D, then the G, and then the E. has asked the solo violin to tune to a B, E, A, and F sharp, which is one whole step higher than normal. Now those same strings played at the same time. But why would he do this? Well, at one point when he was composing, Mahler described this movement with the following. Freund Hein strikes up the dance for us. He strokes the fiddle most strangely and plays us up to heaven. Now Freund Hein is the personification of death. Tuning the violin a different way changes the sound so that it is shrill and has a ghostly quality. Remember that the fourth movement is a song describing heaven. There is no heaven without death, so it makes sense that Mahler's music would explore this idea. We'll have our concert master Lisa isolate the solo violin part now. that feature this ghostly violin are ones that are much lighter in character. They begin with this motive from the clarinet. So, this movement alternates between these moments of unease, Freund Hein and death portrayed by the solo violin, contrasting with these more relaxed moments portrayed by clarinets and French horns. All of this, of course, will set the stage for one of the most momentous movements in the symphonic literature. Mahler himself mentioned that the third movement of his fourth symphony was his favorite, and we'll start to explore this next week.